if you follow any of the videos that I made previously uh, since I've been on YouTube or know me personally, you know how many times I've talked about Disney buying Fox, and I even talked briefly about Disney buying Nintendo a while ago, which I'm that they would have shored up their whole Japanese market along with the Studio Ghibli, X, Y, and Z type situation, which I'm glad they didn't because Nintendo shows, once again, that it's viable in the video game community um, and in the video game spectrum. But back to Disney buying Fox for $52 billion. Well, for the average person like you and me, that's a whole lot of damn money. But what's even a bigger deal, other than the fact that, uh, let me let me make a disclosure really quick, because I'm really excited. I, I'm really excited that Disney bought Fox. I've been saying it, like I said earlier. For forever, I've been saying that Disney needs to buy Fox so we can get all of the... The, the comic book stuff from X-Men and, and, and Fantastic Four under one umbrella because the fact that uh, Infinity Wars without X-Men, without Wolverine, without the Fantastic Four, uh, without the X-Men, just hurts my heart and my feelings as a comic book enthusiast, as a comic book fan, and just as a comic book historian, it, it, it hurts. It really, it really hurts. But within the deal, not only does um, Disney get Fox within, the, it gets the Marvel movies, and like it gets Fantastic Four and the rights to that, and it also gets X-Men. It also gets Avatar, the movie, which was the biggest selling movie of all time, which is a big deal because James Cameron is going to be doing more movies. I rem I, I believe that he said he was going to be doing, uh, it was going to be a trilogy. Yeah, it was going to be a trilogy. But not only do Disney get that, but they also get, I believe it's Die Hard and whatever other movie that falls under the umbrella of 21st Century Fox films, as well as Hulu. Now, again, I know I overskipped what I was saying because I got excited. I already prepared you that I was excited a little bit for this. The disclaimer I was talking about earlier, which I feel a little bad about, is the fact that all of the employees from Fox that are going to get laid off with this consolidation of movies, uh, the movie theaters, and the movie franchises merging, I do feel bad for that. However, I mean, let's be real. 90% of these folks are going to either start up their own businesses uh, independently or work collectively. Or what they're going to do is they're going to get a job within another corporation or a company, whether it's Pixar, whether which is still under Disney umbrella, or they're going to go to some kind of video game corporation, or they're going to go to TV or something. So I'm not really worried about people with their master's and bachelor's degrees with that are making 70000 to 80000 to $100,000 a year. I know as shitty and shady as that sounds, I feel bad because I don't wish anyone to lose their job, especially in this administration. However, I believe all these folks, men's and women's, it's going to be cool. But back to the Disney buying Fox, that opens up a lot of different things. And finally... We have all of this, again, under one umbrella. And again, I was mentioning earlier that Disney, within this merger, or within this buyout, basically, they get Hulu. And I believe that, if I'm correct, they're going to get about 60 or 80% between around there of the stake of Hulu. So, they were already thinking about making their own streaming service. But now, with Hulu, they don't need to make their own streaming service because they have their own streaming service. If you're old enough to remember back in the day, um, Disney used to do something called Straight to VHS. And Lion King 2 was a Straight to VHS or DVD movie, as well as um, The Little Mermaid 2, uh, The Christmas Adventure with Belle uh, from The Beauty and the Beast. So they had things like that. Don't be surprised with this, this buyout that Disney will start putting and porting their movies like that or independent things on Hulu. And Disney, with this merger, this buyout, has not only promised that movies like Deadpool and other uh, adult-rated things, and even Avatar with its own spectrum and universe, will not be touched. They're going to allow the companies or the people who have these uh, intellectual properties, these IPs, they're going to allow them to basically 
be who they are and still be under this Disney umbrella. And again, this is such a huge deal because of the fact that we can finally get Marvel under one umbrella. <laughs> can we finally get... There even was this rumor, uh, and if you haven't seen it, um, it's a picture of uh, Hugh Jackman um, from the from just coming in, even though he said he wasn't doing any more anything anymore. The, uh, the old man Logan from Logan was his last movie. There was a picture floating around the interwebs of uh, old man Logan, Hugh Jackman, um, with he's coming out of like a corridor or something, and it's Captain America and Iron Man. I think it's Thor, or somebody that's standing there, and it's like Infinity Wars. Apparently. He's supposed to have a um, cameo now since the whole merger. Now what? 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 Now what? That would be amazing for them to have that, and they could even restart something with the Fantastic Four in there too. Um, even if they rebirth it from the Fantastic Four, I mean, so many ideas and different things that they can do now that they have everything um, in one. Even with Cable and 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 and, and uh, Deadpool uh, can be included in the Infinity Wars, even though he wasn't originally in the Infinity Wars. But wow! And now the second half of what I had to discuss, which I found was very interesting, by re looking up some information about the Disney um, a, a, a merger with Fox or a buyout for Fox, is that Fox still keeps the News forms, the BCC, I think of it, which is like another news thing and like another news reel. Uh, so it's like three different factions that um, uh, Fox still is going to be able to keep. Now, within that, at this same time, USA, which I believe is owned um, by Fox, is actually thinking about buying the WWE. Now, Triple H just came out and said that 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 it could be a merger or a buyout between these these two corporations these two companies because USA or uh, or excuse me Fox is, and and UFC I know that's a whole bunch of acronyms uh, Ultimate Fighting Champions their contract is going to be up this year so if their contract is, is up which is an extreme sport if their contract is up then what that means it's going to be an open slot on Fox for WWE, and this might not seem like it's a big deal, but damn it, this is a huge deal. What made wrestling catapult from the Hulk Hogan era of PG, eat, eat your vitamins, brother, uh, brother, make sure you go out and say your prayers, eat your vitamins. That era compared to the Stone Cold, do you smell blood and gore, rock and mankind and Undertaker, the Attitude Era, which was the best era in wrestling history, which put wrestling completely on the map and in everybody's homes and every school and in everybody's mouth, that can actually be a bigger possibility now uh, to bring that kind of era back. Because Fox, as we know from their news and their other uh, syndications, that Fox has no problem with being um, outside of the lines. As always in the web, this has been your boy Q, your friendly neighborhood geek. If you did like this video, make sure you hit this thumbs up button. And if you're new to my channel, and if you're new to my channel, and you want to continue to stay up to date on all things geek, make sure you hit that subscribe button right there, and don't forget to comment on any other future news that you'd like me to cover. And until next time, peace!